Hi everybody, uh, welcome back. Hey, we're gonna do some stuff with um, Fusion again. Uh, this time we're gonna make an axle and we're gonna mess around with the chamfer tool. But before I do that, I need to show you something that I, I just had a complete and utter brain damage moment. Hey, when I'm sitting here looking at the browser bar, notice this little tab here that says document settings, you pull it out. Hey, there's a thing that says millimeters. I can change my units. I hadn't even thought about checking that when I was working before. I do everything in inches. I'm going to set that as my default and hit OK. That means from now on it should default to doing everything in inches, at least to my knowledge. Now I'm going to make a sketch real quick and I'm going to do this the easier way. Okay. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to draw a circle. Okay. I'm going to draw a shape that's just a circle right here on this origin. Take it out this way. Well, that needs to be one inch. So I'm just going to type in one. Enter. There's my one inch circle. So I'm going to finish that sketch for right now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and use the push press pull and I'm going to select the shape which is this shape now he's going to go I don't care if he goes in one direction or two directions okay um, symmetrical and I want him to go a grand total of 1.5 inches okay now that's a problem in my brain looking at this let's turn this thing so I can look at it if I'm reading that right that means that's now 1.5 inches in each direction which means that thing's three inches that means I need to make that 0.75. That was one of those things I needed to find out. Um, so I put it like that. So that way he's an inch and a half in each direction, or an inch and a half overall. So if I go start a sketch on, say, this surface, and I make another circle, it shares that same center point. There. Uh, is that on the center? I hope that is. 0.75. Looks like he is. Pull him out. Use the press pull tool again, pick this shape this time, and tell him to go all of a half inch. Okay. Let's flip it around the other way and do the same thing. Start a sketch, put the center on the origin right there, 0 0.75. Finish that sketch, press pull. Well, I got fat fingers today. All right, so there's what I've got so far. Now, looking at this, um, I'm going to mess around with it. I'm going to show you how to um, hopefully show you how to modify this correctly. So these actually has a half inch margin of workspace, but then it's got a chamfer for the last eighth of an inch. So I'm looking at this going, hey, that's not quite long enough. So how do I fix it? Well, I go back here to the bodies and the sketches so let's see if i can go back in here and make a modification or two um, if i click on this piece right here can i modify him um no it's merged him all that's what i was wondering about so that we might have to live with for right now so anyway chat for tool should be really this simple i should be able to pick that edge and i should be able to pick that edge and i should be able to tell them each of them i have a distance of an eighth of an inch Go okay, and that should do it. That would be my axle. Okay, that should be that simple. Now, little glitch here. These should each be three quarters of an inch. Okay, so how do I fix that? It looks like I have to go back in and redo. So I wish I could really use the push. I wonder if I could use the push. <gasps> hey, there's a thought. Let's undo what I just did. If I go back in on this and I use the press pull, click on that surface. If I tell him to go another eighth of an inch, oh, he went down. Oh, let's do this then, 0.75. Beautiful. So you can go back in and edit it after all. I just didn't realize the simplicity of it, 0.75. That works beautifully. So once I've got that, I can go back over here to my chamfer, pick that edge and that edge, tell them each to be an eighth, and that makes it all right. All right, that's all it takes, guys and girls. So, um, good to know. So, um, we should be good to go from here. Actually, cancel this. I want to make sure I'm using the right naming conventions. Yeah, I was wondering about that. So, this should say 360. Hey, thanks for your time. We'll see you again later.